Hello everybody. Today I decided to practice a little bit with you few questions related to quadratic equations in fu and functions, uh, questions that they come in set exams from the cracksat.net. And let's see. The coordinates of the vertex of the parabola. So the question is, find the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola with the equation y equals 2x squared plus 4x minus 5. Remind it to you that the vertex has coordinates x, y, in which x, it is equals negative b over 2a and the y, It's the f of x in which x, it will be the value we found. It's the negative b over 2a. So let's go back and find the x coordinate equals negative b coefficient it is 4. So we put negative 4 over 2 times the a coefficient it is 2. So 2 times 2. And negative 4 to 4, it is negative 1. So the x, x coordinate, it is negative 1. Now we go back and check the multiple choices. We found here that it's only one multiple choice with x negative 1. So this is going to be my answer. I don't have to lose my time in the exam to find the y. In case that you would find more than one point with x negative 1, then you would go and find the y. But here is not the case. As long as it's only one answer with negative 1 x, it means this one is my question, is my answer. Next, find the range of the function. So let's see. y equals, I will put it in standard form, negative x squared, minus 4x plus 5. Range represents the y values, the set of y values used to graph this parabola. From here, the a coefficient, it is negative 1, which means it's less than 0. If the a is less than 0, parabola opens downward. The highest point it is vertex, where vertex has coordinates x, y. And the range of this function, it will be from this y and down to negative infinity. So all we have to do is to find the y coordinate. But to find the y, we need to find the x. Remember that y depends on x. So we take it down, x equals, the x coordinate vertex is negative b over 2a. And equals b, it's negative 4. And negative, it will be 4. Over 2 times a is negative 1. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And this equals to negative 2. Now f of negative 2 equals wherever there it is x in the equation, we will substitute with negative 2. So it will be negative 2, negative 2, oh, sorry, 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 it will be negative, negative 2 square minus 4, negative 2 plus 5, and this equals, this is 4 and negative, negative 4, Negative 4, negative 2, it's plus 8. Plus 5 equals 4 and 5, 9. So the y, it will be here, 9. Then the range, it will be from 9 and down, which means y, it will be less than or equals to 9. And the correct answer is c. Next. The equation of the axis of symmetry. 
axis of symmetry is the imaginary line which passes through the vertex and splits parabola in two symmetrical parts. So if we have like y equals 2x squared plus 3x minus 6, the a coefficient, it is 2, which means it's greater than 0, then parabola opens upward, and the lowest point in parabola is vertex, and the axis of symmetry, it will be imaginary line, it's vertical, that splits parabola into two symmetrical parts, the left part and the right part. Now, this axis of symmetry passes through the vertex, it's vertical line. Remember that the equation of the vertical line, it's x equals the point of intersection with the x-axis. In our case, this equation will have the same value. It will be the same the x-coordinate for the vertex. So we write x equals negative b over 2a and equals negative b is 3. So we'll put negative 3 over 2 times a is 2, so 2 times 2 is 4. So the axis of symmetry is x equals negative 3 over 4. And the correct answer is b. Let's try more. Find the zeros of the equation. So y equals 2x squared plus x Minus 6. The zeros of the function, they are the x-intercepts. The symbol to write x-intercept, it's x0. 0, 0 for y. So in the given equation, instead of y, we put 0. It will be 2x squared plus x minus 6 equals to 0. It's standard form. Between the coefficients is not common factor. Then we will try to solve it. To solve it, I will try the factoring using the x method. On the top, a times c. Down, we put the b. And a, it's 2. And c is negative 6. So 2 times negative 6, it will be here negative 12. The b coefficient, it is 1. Now, we think about two numbers. When we multiply them, they are product negative 12. And when we add, it's 1. And the two numbers are 4 and negative 3. 4 times negative 3, negative 12. 4 plus negative 3, it is 1. Over the, two e the ax, the a coefficient is 2. So, it will be here 2x. And here, 2x. So, the ax coefficient. We get the fraction in simplest form. So, it will be here 2 over x. The second one, we cannot simplify it. We leave it as it is. So, from the first factor, from the first fraction, the factor it will be x plus 2 times from the second fra fraction, we have 2x minus 3 equals to 0. Product 0 if one of the factors is 0. From the first factor, x is negative 2. And from the second one, x is 3 over 2. So the correct answer is the last one. The sum of the zeros. So y equals 3x squared minus 6x minus 4. So the sum of the zeros. First of all, the zero, it's the x intercept. So to write it, the symbol is x0, 0, 0 for y. So it will be 3x squared minus 6x. Minus 4 equals to 0. The sum of the 0, 
is negative B over A. So keep it in your mind because this saves a lot of time and it will be. B is negative 6 and negative it will be 6 over A it is 3. So over 3 equals to 2. So the sum of the 0 it is 2 and the correct answer is D. Just a reminder here, the product of the zeros, it is C to A. So product C to A and the sum of the roots, it is negative B over A. X squared plus 2X plus 3 equals to zero. They say this quadratic equation has two real rational roots, two real irrational, two equal real. So then here is not the problem what is the root. So we do not have to solve it. The question is how many roots does it have and how are they? So the number and the type of the roots, it is given by delta, where delta equals b squared minus 4ac. And this one equals. The b coefficient it is 2, so 2 squared it will be 4. Minus 4 times the a coefficient it is 1 times the c it is 3 and equals. 4 times 3 12, 4 minus 12 equals negative 8. So delta it is less than 0, which means the x1 and x2, they are complex conjugate. So the correct answer, it is A. Thank you.